Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is the Champions League Diary, the headquarters of all Champions League related news. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell icon because we give you the match prediction and betting tips of each and every single Champions League fixture. Apart from the betting stuff, we also give you the update, the news, the analysis, the pred everything you need to know about the Champions League. So if this is something you're interested in, please do well and subscribe. Now, before we commence, before we start today's video, I want you to go down to the comments section and right there i want you to test me who you think is going to qualify to the next round of the competition is it going to be Sevilla or is it going to be Dortmund let me know your thoughts in the comments section below now moving on to today's video i'll be discussing the possible outcome of the champions league one of 16 encounter between Sevilla and Borussia Dortmund we all know how the first leg ended in Sevilla losing at their own stadium at their stadium Ramon Sanchez three goals to two thanks to Ellen Brandt Haaland Breeze. So a lot of people have written this draw done deal for Dortmund to progress to the next round of the competition and I'm not going to see otherwise. I think the game is really clear. Dortmund are going to progress with three goals to one in the second leg. Sevilla in the previous weeks have not been really good. You saw how they lost to Barcelona in the Copa de Rio semi-finals after taking two goal lead in the first leg. So I will not be surprised to see Dortmund winning three goals to one. That is my correct score prediction. I will go for Borussia Dortmund Dortmund to qualify with three goals to one because look at the Borussia Dortmund team they have a lot of quality I'm not going to talk a lot about Ellen Brandt Haaland we all know the quality we know what Jaden Sancho Marco Royce all the players the American we, we know what they are capable of doing so when you go to the Sevilla team right now the advantage they have right now is that they have already a player though those who were injured that couldn't feature in the first leg are all back Ocampos is also back look at Dijon and Munia had added their banking in goals as usual Rakitic will be playing with be featured in that goal although he started in the second half against Barcelona last weekend in the Copa de Rio so I'm, I'm, I'm positive this uh, first shot have a lot of promising uh, nice players quality players in there but it's going to be really difficult for Sevilla to progress having lost three goals to two in their own stadium three away goals Dortmund had is going to prove crucial coming on to the second leg their current form right now it makes the job really hard for Julian Lopetegui and his men at the Sevilla yeah, they, they should have done better in the first leg but unfortunately or oh, good for them they have the I mean the, the opportunity to retain that uh, deficit the 3-2 deficit they have which I'm going to go for Dortmund to qualify with three goals to one we are not going to say that Sevilla are not going to pull a threat. If you are going for Burton, I'm sure both teams are going to score a goal. You can go for both teams to score. And this game promised to give us a really good quality. We saw how good they were in the first leg. Like Dortmund really attacking very, very good. Ellen Brandt Haaland, Jaden Sancho, uh, the likes of Marco Royce, they really made the job difficult for Sevilla, Julian Lopetegui's men. But this feature is going to be good, as I told you earlier on. And uh, Sevilla are going to do everything within their power away from home we saw in the group stage how they really performed but i don't think sevilla are going to progress to the next round of season i think this is the done deal for Borussia dortmund thank you very much for watching this video if you're new here please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video stay safe